let's just do, we'll just kind of make up our own example here. We'll keep it pretty straightforward. Let's, um, first we have to declare a local variable. We're gonna do a map of um, students to favorite colors. One thing you'll notice when you make a new map is that you need to specify in terms of the generic, the thing inside of the angle brackets, two types. You have to specify the type of the key um, and you have to specify the type of the value. So in this example, our key type is gonna be a string and our value type is gonna be a color. And we're gonna call this favorite colors equals new hash map. And again, I can leave the types off here because they're inferred from the type declaration here. Um, let's add a comment block about that because otherwise I think we'll easily forget. The map interface is a generic, just like the linked list and the array list and the set, but it's got two types. The first type is the type of the key. The second, the type of the value. So when I think of map, I always think of key value pairs. Key always comes first. So the key is of type string, the value is of type color. All right, let's add some stuff here. So we can use the put method. Favorite colors dot put. The key, um, Maz, what's your favorite color? Green? Color dot green. Cool. So we've added in the key of Maz and the favorite color of green. All right, let's do some more. All right, Wyatt, what about your favorite color? What's that? It's also green. Well, that that's actually works out well. So we'll do Wyatt. Favorite color, also green. And that's okay. You can both have a favorite color green. No, but seriously, like, it's okay in the map too. Two different keys can have the same value. That's fine. That's not, not a problem. Let's do another. Favorite colors, dot put. Kurt, what's your favorite color? Blue, oops. Excellent. Elena, what's your favorite color? Which color? Blue as well? All right. All right, Samika, what's your favorite color? But don't tell me the real one. Tell me your like second favorite color. Pink. Uh, is there is there a pink? Let's see. There is. Excellent. All right. The reason why I asked you to do that, well, here, let's actually, we should add some notes here. Um, we'll put a note here. So just highlighting things that naturally worked out well, two different keys can have the same value. Okay. But... Let's add one more here. All right, what's really your favorite color? Green. Green, okay. Because this works out well then, for example. Here's the comment that I wanted to leave. But the same key cannot have two different values. This code changes the value for the key Samika. OK? 
okay? So having two different keys with the same value, no problem. Maps do that all the time, totally fine, right? That's like two different barcodes for the same textbook, right? That's gonna happen like a hundred times for a hundred textbooks for a class. Um, however, the same key cannot have two different values. So if we put the same key in the map multiple times, the last one wins, okay? It replaces the previous association. All right, we got a lot of stuff in our map now. So now let's say, um, I'm not gonna demonstrate how to how to remove this stuff or, or get this stuff. That's pretty straight. Actually, we'll do the get in a second. Um, but let's do this key set thing. I think this is worth an example that you can refer to over and over again. So we're gonna create a set of the keys in the map. So our keys of type string, therefore we need a set of strings. I'm gonna call this local variable keys. I almost always call it keys. And now on the favorite colors um, map, I'm gonna call the key set method. And the key set method returns a reference to a new set of all the keys in the map. And then I can quite simply iterate through it. for each key in the set of keys. I coded it this way because I really wanted to emphasize the key set method returns a reference to a set of strings, which are our keys. Usually we don't bother writing this as two lines of code. Um, usually we just take this part of the code and put it here instead. So we just say for string key in favorite colors dot key set. Um, so feel free to do that. I'm just emphasizing that, hey, key set returns a set of keys. That's how this thing works. All right, let's print everything else, everything in the map out nicely. So we're gonna do a system.out.println. And I'm gonna print the key. And then I'm gonna concatenate a space and a parenthesis. And then I'm gonna do t key dot hash code, okay? So I'm printing out the hash code for the key, which is how internally um, the hash map stores this stuff. And then I'll close that parenthesis and add a colon and a space. And then I will also print, oh, do the get method and specify the key. So I'm gonna print the key, the hash code, and the value. When you've got this, go ahead and run it. Oops, sorry, way too big, there we go. So we can see the different colors associated with each name. What I wanted to show you here with the hash codes was just that how dramatically different the hash code is for different um, keys in terms of the hash map stuff. Um, so you'll see that, you know, even if names were, you change just one letter in a name, you're going to get a totally different hash code, uh, which is by design. 